Welcome to Watch Cards Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Wednesday's story is August Patch Day. There's a lot of interesting security stories today, but I want to focus on the biggest patch day for August. That's because yesterday was Microsoft Patch Tuesday, and Adobe also shares Patch Tuesday. On top of that, Mozilla also released a big Firefox update. No time to go into all the technical details, but here's the important stuff. Microsoft released 14 security bulletins fixing many, many vulnerabilities in a lot of their products. All versions of Windows are affected, Internet Explorer, some of the Windows components like Remote Desktop Protocol, Microsoft Office is affected, Silverlight, and Link. So if you have any of those Microsoft updates, you're going to want to patch. And by the way, three of these vulnerabilities or bulletins uh, fix critical vulnerabilities. So it's pretty important you go out and patch if you're a Microsoft administrator. Also, Adobe released a patch as well. They fixed a number of critical vulnerabilities in Adobe Flash. Not everyone has Flash, but I bet a majority of you do. So if you use Adobe Flash, you definitely want to go update that. Finally, if you happen to use Mozilla's Firefox browser, it fixed over 40 vulnerabilities as well, so be sure to update that. By the way, here's my simple advice for patching. Client computers, desktop computers that your normal clients use, you should use auto-patching mechanisms. Windows, Adobe, and even browsers like Firefox have settings where they can automatically download download and install updates in the background. And while there are some issues with installing updates automatically, maybe they can hurt your systems in some cases, these are very, very minor. And for desktop systems, it's probably worth the risk to keep your clients up to date all the time. Now for production servers, any servers that you have running that are very important to the business, those you may not want to auto update. So any big Windows servers out there, you probably want to test these patches before updating. And in any case, a lot of new patches out there. So if you use Microsoft Adobe products or if you use Mozilla's Firefox, go get the updates. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.